I was so excited for today, guys. I really was. And part of me was joking in my head. You know, on the way up here, I was seeing these new five gram towers everywhere. I was like, nah, there's not gonna be one right on the farm. What's the chance of that? And I pulled up to this property and there is literally a five grams tower. I don't know how far that is distance wise, but I can see the tower right here from the house that's on the farm property. So I don't have a special lens on this camera that can zoom in really, really far and focus, but you know, my vision right now that I'm seeing, you know, night and day, it's, it's such clearly a, a five grams tower. And I'm sure you guys can see pretty clearly too, even though, you know, it is pretty far away and I don't have a special lens. You know, it's literally right on the property. And this property was good too. There's allegedly, you know, 120 acres of pasture land. You know, it would have been perfect. There's a bunch of structures and stuff here. And I'm not gonna bother taking a look around the property because, you know, we can't buy it. It's out of the question if we, we can't buy it. Out of the question. This is comical. What is there to really say about this? What is there to really say about this? No one's going to agree that living anywhere near a cell tower in general is okay, let alone this new military weaponry. I don't understand. How, how is this possible? How is this possibly okay? How is anyone going to justify this or explain this to me? Seriously, why does that tower have to be there? What, what's going on? There is no reason to set up this much infrastructure, these many, it, I, I keep telling you guys, I wanna, I wanna get away from this shit. I don't, want, I don't wanna see these towers. I don't wanna talk about these towers. I don't wanna ever hear the word five grams ever again in my life. But every single thing I try to do, they're there. They are there because this is the infrastructure, this is the weaponry they are setting up to fry us, to make us sick. And when you have this grid set up, when you have these towers everywhere that can be seen, everywhere people are living, you control them. Imagine a giant grid where you can control people's health, people's thoughts, how they act, how they respond. That's what they're doing with these towers. That's what they're doing with these devices. You're basically all gonna be under the control of this BS. This is crazy. This is why I spent thousands of dollars on flyers and hundreds of dollars to, well, probably over a thousand now, to employ people to hand out those flyers because hopefully this will get through some people's thick skulls. Are you guys not seeing what's going on? Fuck. Where is this fucking idiot that made me drive up here? God damn it. Oh, and by the way, there's a new five grams tower. We got a deal from the fucking FCC and Verizon and Spectrum because the corporate CEO has a huge fucking dick, but it's not as I can't fucking stand this shit. You know, back in February of this year, you know, we made a video going to a farm, talking about how we're looking at purchasing a farm, you know, for raw dairy and eggs for you guys to provide high quality natural animal products. And at that point in time in February, we said, well, this probably isn't going to happen this year. We don't have the money. We don't have the capital. Since then, you know, we've discovered some type of farm loan, some agricultural loans that we are eligible for. So we are looking to purchase a farm ASAP, hopefully within the next two or three months to get things up and running. And today was supposed to be the first farm property that I saw. You know, I was going to get the website set up and everything. We have a name, Sky Blue Farm, because, you know, sky blue is my favorite color. And, you know, every time I look up into the sky, I can't help but think positive. That being said, you know, we still will have the skybluefarm.com website and you guys can sign up for the newsletter to stay updated. There's a little story on there about, you know, what we're looking to do, provide you guys with high quality, affordable animal nutrition as we have with Frankie's free range meat. And uh, I just hope it's, it's, it's not like this everywhere else I go. Uh, the real estate agent isn't here yet. I spent three hours driving up here, three hours in my car. You know, I thought I was at least gonna get a video out of it and I still am gonna get a video out of it but uh, not the type of video I wanted. And uh, the reason I'm so aggravated and I'm a little upset is that I have a feeling I'm gonna go to these other farms and it's gonna be the same thing. They literally have a tower installed right on the farm. It, it's absolutely insane. It, and, and it is a five grams tower, it's not a cell tower. I mean, you guys see behind me, they have like the, the antenna for the house and that type of stuff for the TV, but that, that's completely different than what we're talking about here. There's literally military weaponry on the property that's the farm so you know there are a few properties up in the air that i'm looking at you know pennsylvania new jersey new york nothing's really off the table we're just looking for something within you know two three hours of new york city to you know for hopefully for me to move to get the dairy operation up and running get things up and running 
But uh, the way things are looking, I'm starting to think, you know, what am I gonna do? Is, is there a county, is there somewhere I can move? Do you guys know a place where these towers are not allowed? Did they make these illegal in some type of rich county that I probably can't afford? Where can I go and find a farm that is not gonna have these towers on it? I'm gonna have to do an antenna search. And I told myself this before going to the farm, I should probably do an antenna search nearby so I don't waste my time driving there. <laughs> this is comical. I'm assuming this antenna is registered online and I will check later. If the antenna is registered, you will see a picture here right now. If the antenna is not registered, well, you're gonna hear my face talking. So, you know, when I go home, I'll look it up. I'll see if there was an antenna that was said to be put up at this site. Uh, so now in the future, before I go to any more farm properties, you know, I'm supposed to go to one tomorrow morning and I'm supposed to go to one Saturday morning, but before I go there, I'm gonna to go to antennasearch.com. I'm gonna see if they put up any cell towers. And the thing is, you know, if I search this one, whether it's there or not, if it's there, then I know that I can trust the searches. But if I search for this tower online tonight and it wasn't there, then what am I gonna to have to risk going to these properties, driving two, three, four hours, and there being an antenna on the property? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get this real estate agent's reaction. I'm probably gonna put the camera away and, um, and talk to them privately and say, hey, I'm sorry, you made me drive up here. There's, an, there's a cell antenna right on the property. I'm gonna have a conversation with them and see what they have to say about the cell antenna being on the property and if that's been a concern to anyone else. But, uh, you know, some of you guys might be thinking, you know, Frank, you're a guy from New York City. What do you know about farming? I'm under the guidance of some very intelligent people, some people that have a lot of experience farming and everything's gonna go well. We know exactly what we're doing. The goal was before the end of this year, we will be shipping you guys eggs, raw dairy, and probably a lot more local meat. Uh, so we're not gonna focus on that this video. Uh, maybe if I go to the farm tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, granted there's no cell antenna on the farm, or we find a property that can work, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully we figure something out soon because uh, if not, I'm about to uh, move to New Zealand with a bunch of Russian girls, to be honest, because what am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do here? So the real estate agent said they were gonna be like 10, 15 minutes late and I was 10 minutes early. And after I saw the cell tower, I literally went to call up the real estate agent to say, don't come, I'm not buying this property because there's a cell antenna on the property. I'm kind of glad they didn't pick up because now I can get their reaction when talking to them and then I'll tell you guys afterwards. I'm not gonna film them or anything, but we'll just see what they have to say. So this real estate lady was basically in full sales mode. I brought up the tower, you know, literally the first thing I said was, Hey, listen, I'm sorry, you know, there's a cell tower on the property, you know, I can't purchase it. But she had no clue what I was talking about. She was like, what's wrong with cell towers? What's this, what's that? And I was like, well, I mean, don't you know anything about cell towers? Have you ever heard what's wrong with them? And I briefly said, well, look, it's dangerous. It makes the animals sick. It gives people cancer, a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, she still had no idea what I was talking about. And then she literally took out her cell phone and was like, well, I don't even have any cell reception here. So I, I was like, listen, I'll send you an email later about what's going on. And then she was still in sales mode, even after I said that. You know, she was like, oh, well, what do you want? And I told her, listen, I'm looking for a property this many acres, this far outside of New York. But, you know, I'm not too optimistic with how many towers are up here. We might not even be able to stay in New York. You know, I asked you guys earlier in the video, do you guys know anywhere that doesn't have this tower infrastructure and i hope it's in the united states so we can provide high quality animal foods to you know the country i was born in but maybe not maybe i should genuinely do what i said earlier and move to new zealand with a bunch of russian girls and, and by move to new zealand with a bunch of russian girls i loosely mean move to a country where this stuff isn't happening with a bunch of attractive females uh, but you know russian girls new zealand seems like a likely candidate uh, so tomorrow morning, we're gonna go see another farm. Saturday morning, we're gonna go see another farm. Uh, I, I could actually go online antenna search and tell you guys if we're going to the farms or not, but I'd like to leave a little suspense, you know? I can't figure everything out, you know? I didn't even bring my EMF meters up here. I forgot to bring them. And I didn't check antennasearch.com. And if I didn't do those things, we wouldn't have this interesting little story and unfortunate thing come up. You know, I mean, to some degree, I believe things are meant to happen if you have your mindset in the right spot. Uh, so I'll look up that stuff when we get home. You guys will know by you know Sunday or Monday uh, what happened with the other properties and what's going on in general. Uh, either way, 
know, I mean, there's not going to be any scenario where I bite the bullet and just, you know, get these farm properties. You know, worst case scenario, you know, I'll take my money and uh, get to some place where I can raise animals in a natural environment. But, you know, it does really seem like these people, the evil people in charge of us that are ruling over us, intend to put these towers anywhere people are living, anywhere animals are being raised, and they can turn them on or off at will. Yeah, so there might be long stretches of time, months, if not years, where they don't have these towers activated at full force, but there's going to be a point in time where these towers are going to get people very sick, and the only way is to take these towers down. Uh, that tower specifically was not on, like, the farm property, technically. It was about as close as possible to the farm property without being on it. I don't know if I have a headache from the people driving up here, getting blasted by the Wi-Fi towers, sweating my guts out, it's hot, or I'm dehydrated, but I have a headache. I just sucked down some glutathione. Uh, hopefully I'll get you guys a supplement that can relieve the stress of the Wi-Fi if you are in a high Wi-Fi environment soon. Uh, look out for that on organ supplements, hopefully within the next two or three months. Now, ironically, the first farm we go to is literally the worst case scenario. Not only was there that tower right on the property, even if that tower wasn't on the property, there was a commercial chicken farm or some type of commercial farm that does chicken, eggs, beef, pork, literally a mile down the road. So there's probably some type of you know, herbicide, agrochemical contamination, crossover issue there, contamination in the water table. So it's looking like we might have to go out east or out west as opposed to staying in New York. So thank you guys for joining me today. You know, regardless of what happens, regardless of how things go over the next few weeks, few months, I will be getting you guys the highest quality animal foods possible. Eggs, dairy, meat, naturally raised, no chemicals used in the processing, as soon as possible. You know, perfect world, I'd have it in two or three months. What it's looking like, you know, four or five months realistic, and definitely before the end of the year. Uh, so again, go to skybluefarm.com sign up for the newsletter and uh, keep an eye on the channel we're going to update you guys soon on you know the private membership club how we're going to do things and how you can support us uh, by no means uh, do we need the money right now everything is going to be i mean well of course we need money but you know everything will hopefully be funded through this loan and and we're going to see if if we can get some perks for you guys that want to support us early on and those of you guys that have been customers with Frankie's Syringe Meat for a while, we'll get some perks early on. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, with Frankie's Syringe Meat, our profit margins have been very slim. We haven't made a lot of money. You know, we haven't been charging for shipping. Uh, but when we do this new farm operation, since we are offering exclusive products, since we do need to be able to upkeep the farm, we're probably going to have to charge some type of shipping fee. And we're also not going to offer discounts. We might have sales on certain items at certain periods of time. But, you know, by no means are we going to be, you know, as full on pretty much giving food away as with Frankie to age me. Uh, so, thanks again for joining me today, guys. You know, everything is going to be available down in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys soon, hopefully on a beautiful farm with a clear blue sky and no towers in sight. Uh, one last thing to add is I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to ask how can we invest? How can we work on the farm? How can we do this? How can we do that? Uh, if you guys are interested in relocating nearby to work on the farm, I'm not sure if we're going to have housing on the farm as of yet. If you guys are interested in investing or something like that, you know, all the inquiries can be sent to any of the email addresses I have with any of my companies. I think I'm going to try to get uh, the email address set up for skybluefarm.com. Uh, by uh, the time this video goes up. So you're gonna either email uh, Frank at skybluefarm.com. I don't know what that email is gonna be yet, but you know, just, just go through one of my other emails right now. You know, Frank at frank com, info at frankdeesyringemeat.com. In that upcoming video, we will talk more details about the time frame, what we're looking to do, what foods we're looking to raise. But uh, as of right now, you know, we have this new cell tower problem that Unfortunately, it seems like it's going to rear its head in many ugly ways while I'm looking for farm properties. You know, and who's to say, even if we do buy a farm property, that they don't just throw up a tower nearby. Um, you know, it's not like you can buy a whole city or a whole county so that you own all the land and they can't put up any towers on it. 
Oh well. See you guys soon. Thank you.